Hello, it's August 2022 and this fabulous summer of ours just keeps on rolling along. It is hot though, very hot, but some people keep cool like this here moose and uh, Mel and I. Well, we kept cool in the local pool, going 8.30 in the morning for a good old swim. Mum's been in good form. I'm very pleased to see her grandsons. Uh, there's Matthew and Daniel uh, posing for GoFast. Very nice. And this is a bit of a height off here. I'll let you come to your own opinion who's won there. Daniel here with Flash Dog. But Mum is happy with her son hat because, yes, another visit, David and Trevor. And I'll let you decide uh, which, who's won this one here. I don't know if it's fairly obvious if you've asked me. These kind of surreal photographs outside Roy's house. Roy and Karma continuing to feed me, which is very kind of them. Steve wildly excited because the windows are finally arriving. Get rid of the old wooden boards, open it all up, put the windows in. I've never seen a man so happy. And as each wooden pane came out, you can see this fabulous view. Let's see what it looks like later. Then off to the West Country. We're going to go and see uh, Lizzie. We're stopping off. We found a little pub with a church and a viaduct and a weir. And it is remarkable what's just tucked away. Uh, Glastonbury Tour's not tucked away. You can see it for miles around. Long, hot walk up to the top. You can see the countryside is just absolutely parched. I found an easier way on the way back down. And that meant we got to uh, Lizzie's farm at exactly the right time. Yes, Lizzie's farm. Not only is she a mother of four and a doctor, she's now a farmer. Quite astonishing. Uh, took us up to the top of her farm, see the sunset. And here's a nice photograph of old friends. Friends now for 35 years. Isn't that nice? Uh, a tour of the farm in the morning. Oh, she's more things. She's a builder. That's astonishing. Yes, she's a builder. She's taken in Ukrainian refugees and she looks after packs of wild dogs. So, I don't know how she finds the hours in the day, but fantastic to see her. And then, then we went off to see Suna and Simon and a beautiful house. Let's go for a drum off. Hit him, Mel. Hit him. Hit it, Mel. I think we'll give that to Simon. I think he's had a bit more practice. Uh, we had a lovely uh, lunch at, underneath in the shade. It was really baking, baking hot. Here's the house. Beautiful Suna and Simon looking gorgeous here with some two of the smelliest, fartiest dogs I've ever met. It took us up to the top of all Sarah and see Salisbury Cathedral. This is where the old Salisbury Cathedral was. Oh, I don't know about you. I don't like this newfangled model art architecture. But this must be where Constable... Uh, uh, drew them and went down the pub which was just great and then no sooner than on to Swansea yes that was fantastic and this bus now the open air bus stops outside Mark Shavis's house whisks us off down the mumbles we were going to walk the baby you know what it was just too hot just no way so back on the bus down to the river an ice cold beer with Megan fantastic before going on for a barbie a barbecue on the beach here with these losers and look at this it's the Mediterranean, it's come to Swansea. We love it, it's absolutely fantastic. It's 30 degrees. Now, Seamus is the king of Barbies and uh, Griff, I have still a sex god after all these years. And we had a really big moon, which is quite something. Uh, out, out onto the bay the next day. Swansea Bay, high tide, up early. But you know what? I think this is gonna be the hottest day that will ever be recorded in Swansea too hot to go on the beaches that's for sure the big thing of the uh, month though was the opening up of the house so we've got all the kids down all the other gurglers thomas darius and eddie came down on thursday put them to work look at that lawn looking magnificent hey i uh, got ready got a, a buttload of sausages from the, and uh, steve's putting up string shelving for the tv and mel went just berserk tidying up even the lean to and the gravel garden it meant we were ready for everybody turning up on friday down the pub beehive what a night. Next morning, uh, pizza for lunch, and then right up to the top, march them up to the top of the escarpment for a truly great walk. So that was uh, uh, really quite something. Matt here making his famous potato salad to go with our barbecued lamb and sausages. Big success. Finished off by watching the boxing. Next day, a lot more chill, chilling in the garden, croquet, table tennis, all very nice. This photograph makes me happy with the house and the boys. Um, what makes Mel happy? It's a it's present from Matt. Let's really pick this up. Oh, that's nice. Here is our work. My tail has given Mama a smile. 
Stitched up like a kipper there. And another trip, a bank holiday weekend, off to North Wales. We've learnt now to stop off on the way. And the National Trust properties are really, you know, just uh, quite, quite, quite astonishing. Uh, bridges and castles as we get class closer to the Welsh marshes. Uh, quite a few here. And you can tell you're getting to Wales because suddenly the mountains and more barren land got to pub in time for a meal and drink. And Gordon and Jenny met us, so that was almost like a perfect day. Next day, you can see the pub that we've been to, Gordon looking truly magnificent here. And we were going to set off, we're going to do three days, and I think we're going to do three walks. So the first day was the river walk, and it's quite something, there must be a term for this, but it's where two rivers meet and joys, a confluence, I don't know. But the rivers are very low at the moment because it's been so long and hot, but it kind of floods in the winter time. Uh, and the first couple of miles along the river, uh, and we're a happy bunch, chatting away happily. But Jenny's got plans for us because she, what she wants to do is go up, 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 like the Canary Islands all over again, through the pine forest or whatever it is. Here we are, a bit whacked, but uh, yeah, the dogs, here's Edie, what a fine looking dog. And uh, um, Gordon and I are a bit puffed, but Jenny's like a mountain goat at the top. Right, on top of the mountain, Yeehaw! these lovely girls here. Look at this, 360 degrees. Yeah. You can see Snowden, but the best thing of all right, is Gordon. <laughs> so this is a great shot that Jay took of the dogs. Uh, Gordon goofing around happily. Uh, you think you can see Snowden there in the background. And then we set off down, mm. back down into the valley, pay our respects. And this is the dog that died saving his master's daughter. This is a row of houses which Jenny's mum is in. And you can see for the old timers amongst it, it was all a bit much, but Jenny did cook a delicious fish meal. So we're all very happy. Uh, and then onto the coast the next day, drop one car here, one car there. And we're gonna walk back between the two. Uh, Jenny is the queen of selfies and it was a perfect day, little boats. Okay, from the mountains to the sea. How fantastic is this? And it's a beautiful place and here's a very beautiful man. Ah, another selfie, that's all very good. And you can see the castle in the background there and Gordon trying to pose. And it's quite a long old beach, you know, so we set off and there's lots of, uh, there's lots of cars on the beach that are taking jet skis and uh, what have you down there. Uh, but uh, Jenny had to kind of sprint off ahead because we're in danger of losing her, uh, losing her spot. Third day, up the river to the lake and uh, Gordon insisted we went to his cafe that we knew was shut, but it was open. So we all had a nice drink there. Here he is learning how to pose for photographs. Down, up, smile. Yes, very good, Gordon. Then back into the uh, village and we've been picking uh, blackberries and Mel cooked a delicious black green apple crumble. So time to say goodbye to kind of pack up and what have you. Here's the house. Who are you? We are the Dangerous Brothers. <laughs> we love danger. Yes. <laughs> it's a great weekend. Now I told you we'd have another look at the house because, oh, poor old Steve, the windows didn't turn up. Oh, what's he going to do? He has to put all the wood back. He was so upset we couldn't be cross. So, yeah, so we just kind of got on with the kind of garden and stuff like that and the uh, internet and security cameras. And Oh, but look, he's chirped up a bit now and the guns is... Guns, this is about a fortnight later because what's happening? Yes, the windows did finally arrive. Here the bifolds is Andrew and his merry gang putting them all into place and suddenly you can see the vision of what we've been looking for. It's like the old conservatory, but we've extended it right the way along the house. Uh, and a big old bifolds. Dave here doing some wallpapering. Uh, Steve getting his toys out and doing some welding for the wisteria arch. Uh, and I have to say, it's starting to look splendid. This is number 18 now. It's all white, got rid of that horrible green paint. Front of the house, we're just waiting for the railings now, making a little hedge. House sitting there very nicely indeed. And this photograph makes me happy. It's where I am in life. Got my lovely boys, a lovely house. Mel's moving in permanently in September. We're ready for the next chapter in our life. Very excited. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.